Hey YouTube, today I am gonna show you how to install multiple rooms on your Vivo your account. To do this, you need to have multiple boot patcher and a custom room. The links are in the description. So without wasting time, let's dive in. So in when you go to ES File Explorer, make sure that you have kept your room in your internal memory. So right now I have kept in my internal memory and room folder. From the Chrome folder, go to the right now. I'm going to install a resurrection remix. So, here you need to edit a few of the tweaks in the resurrection remix. So, I suggest you to open the resurrection remix using ES file zip viewer and uh, extract all the things which are going to be inside the file. Extract and I select your desired path. So, right now I'm selecting the current path or uh, the path which I have already working on. Now the decompression is almost over, so get back to the folder. So you will find all those things has been extracted here. So here you need to do, make a few tweaks. So go to Meta and App, Com, Google, Android, and Updater Broad Screen. Open Updater Broad Script as a text in uh, Yes Note Editor. And here you can find asset cm verify trust zone tz so you need to delete this line so go to press on the pencil icon edit icon and uh, yeah remove this one line yeah so when you have done this go back it asks do you want to save the script or not click s so once the script is saved, go back and uh, again select all those files which you have extracted. Now you have made changes in the meta app and again go to menu and click compress. So here you need to name the file. So I suggest you to name it as NEU new resurrection remix because this will uh, this will help you to identify your file little bit of and click OK. Now the Compression takes place, so it may take uh, maybe two or three minutes. Wait for time to settle down, and we'll come back. So the compression is almost going to be finished. So once it is compressed, you will find the new file in the same folder where you have extracted. So now you can see uh, our new resolution remix of zip file has been created now you can delete all those files which have been extracted which have been modified you can delete the original file also it is not required for now click delete yeah and once it is once it is deleted go back so now go uh, I, as i previously told you need, you need to have a multi-boot patcher so this app actually creates uh, i mean actually patches our original primary rom to set up a new app so once it is installed open the app and it will show so this is the home menu of the app click on the roms so when you click on the roms uh, you are uh, basic it will ask for a super user permission so click grant and uh, once it is granted it will show the primary room yeah it asks the kernel has not been set for the current room would you like to set it to the kernel room? and click set now because if you won't uh, go through this procedure then you will end up with the boot loops and then go to rom settings so click on this and this will update the ram disk yeah put the ram was successfully instead click on reboot now so once you have successfully rebooted the system go to the multi boot patcher app and uh, you will find uh, you need to go to rom settings and there you will find the you need to find you need to see this the ram disk is already up to date so when it is completed go go back go to the patch zip file so here you make sure that you will find uh, your device has been detected to meta your acre and this is the configuration where you are going to install so right now secondary multi slot on multi slot 2 multi slot 3 are giving little error so i strongly suggest you to go with the data slot so click on the data slot and give a name so right now i'm going to install a resurrection remix so i'll give the name as rr and uh, it should be in small letters yeah and now tap to choose the zip file so click on the zip file 
and search for the file which you have selected resurrection remix zip file i will click on this and uh, give on a normal way yeah and tap to patch so this may take again a few minutes or few seconds and yes right now it is done you are good to go so and again you need to uh, you need to patch another file that is your gaps file so this is a common procedure even if you are going to ins even if you are going to flash any zip file along with this from you cannot flash this on a twerp or anything so once it is completed go to the rom section and you will yeah and here you will find a floating icon so click on this and you need to add zip files here so please click on the add button go to the as file explorer and select the package package so this is a uh, new resolution remix data slot so this is the patched zip so click on this and click normal way and here keep location and next again add uh, your gaps file go back gaps file so this is the edit will you can easily identify the edition because the name will be uh, su suffixed with data slot so click on this click normal way yeah keep location so once this is done click on the done icon tick mark so here your boot uh, here your patching starts so if you look close this is the same way as your work looks when you are whenever you are flashing a new rom so basically what it does is it runs a emulator of a, a recovery and it directly patches to certain location so you can see here yeah now the flash has been successfully completed so you need to find this the successfully completed two out of two actions and even if you do and if you find only one action has been completed so check for the errors you will find you can find easily which has not been patched and if you find zero actions then there might be something wrong with the zip so repeat those steps which i told previously so now go back and you can find there are two roms have been installed this is the primary one which we are working on and this is rr which is which now we have installed so click on that make sure that the tick mark is enabled so once it is completely successfully switched go, go to the menu and click reboot so finally we have switched back to the resurrection remix but now you might have a uh, conception that how to switch back to the previous row so for this you need to go to the menu so install file explorer in your system already as i told you you might have downloaded the uh, multi bat patcher so again install on this row yeah once it is completed open the multi boot patcher so go to rom section and uh, you can here you need to click on the primary room you need to get a notification saying this room has been successfully switched click reboot thanks for watching if you like the video give thumbs up and if you don't like give thumbs up but make sure that subscribe the channel if you have any more doubts please do comment and i'll try to reply back as soon as possible thank you